Hi! In this tutorial I will show you how to create Infinity Audio Reactive Tunnel in Unreal Engine and control it with Touch Designer. First we create the geometry of the tunnel, then add materials to the model, create animation for emissive objects, create a blueprint for Infinity Tunnel Repetition and connect the IC control from Touch Designer. But first I want to give thanks to all Patreons for supporting and empowering me to make new videos. Let's start. To create the tunnel geometry we will use free generator JS placement. Select the classic menu and adjust the height map to your liking. Save the height and normal map. Open Cinema 4D, create a cube and set the size and number of segments. Turn on separate surfaces for the cube, add a displace deformer. In the shading select the prepared height map and set the strength and height of the applied deformation. You're about to say that you can do tessellation in Unreal Engine as well. And I answer that for our task it's better to prepare the geometry in Cinema 4D. This will reduce the load on the system and we will not drop FPS. Next, make the object editable and remove the front and back surface. Then select all surfaces and invert normals. And connect all objects into one. The tunnel is ready. Now let's create emissive objects. Create a cube and add it to the cloner. Make the object smaller and change the cloner type to grid array. Rotate the cloner and change the distance and number of the objects. Duplicate the cube and create two materials. Select red color in first and blue in second. Change the location of the clones to random and change the seed parameter to your liking. Add a random effector and change the position of objects to make them seem more random. Copy the cloner for each wall. Add material to the tunnel and export the scene in FBX format. Open Unreal Engine and remove all objects from level. Now I need to activate Spout and OEC plugin and restart the project. In this part I will show you how to make a blueprint that will infinitely create the same geometry and destroy already past objects. If you want to learn more about this method, I suggest you to check out the endless run of tutorials on the Unreal Engine channel. First we create a blueprint class and call it BP Floor Tile. Add the scene component for more convenient grouping of objects. We also add a cube, call it floor and resize it. The surface is a range in which you can place the geometry. For example, a part of tunnel. Add an arrow component and move it to the edge of the floor. With this arrow we set in which direction and where the tunnel part will be created. Rename arrow to attach point. Add a box collision component and move it to the edge of the floor over attach point. When actor overlapping this box, it will call an event and new tunnel part will be created. Let's make it bigger so we don't miss it for sure. Move the scene until anchor point will be at the edge point of the floor. Next create a function and call it get attached transform. With this function we will get the position at which the new tunnel part will be created. Now let's import the tunnel model. In the import settings select combine meshes to make the geometry a single object. Add a tunnel to BP floor tile and change its size and position so that it doesn't place outside the geometry of the floor. The next step is to import the textures for the tunnel. Open tunnel material that was imported with the model. And add textures. I will use imperfections maps for roughness and base color. You can find them on Google by searching for surface imperfections. Add a constant with value 1 to metallic and inspector with value 0.2. 
If you see problems with the display of the material, then check to cite it in the parameters. The next step is to create an animated material for emissive cubes. Create a material parameter collection for convenient parameter management from the blueprint. And add two scalar parameters to control brightness and color. Add parameters to the material imported to the tunnel. Change base color to black and add a constant to metallic, since we will use the emission parameter. If you simply plug color into the emission parameter, all objects will light up at the same time. Let's create an animation of the material depending on its position. By changing the time period and divide value, you can change the speed and duration of the animation. Next, using the added parameters to create a brightness and color control. Copy the parameter into the second material and change the color. Now let's add camera and create a blueprint that will create tunnel parts. To do this create a function and call it add floor tile. Add spawn actor of class and select BP floor tile. From spawn transform create a variable and call it next spawn point. From the return value select cast to BP floor tile and call the get attach transform function. And set a new value for the next spawn point variable. We also add a box collision component for camera. Now we need to create an event to add tunnel parts when box collision camera cross box collision from BP floor tile. To do this, create an event on component begin overlap in BP floor tile. Cast to the camera blueprint and call the add floor tile function. Also add delay and destroy actor to avoid storing geometry out of sight of the camera. Go to Event Graph and add a function that will create a certain number of tunnel parts on start. Now let's connect camera and material animation to the OEC. I already shown you how to create OEC server in previous tutorials. If you haven't seen it yet, you must see it. Create a reference to the camera. Add set actor location and select make vector for new location. Next, you need to set the name of the OSC command and the value for each axis. Now let's add brightness and color controls for materials. For this we will use the material parameter collection that we added to the materials of the emissive objects. The most attentive noticed that after each white flash 
white speckery flew down the tunnel. Let's add it too. Create a material and call it post process. Change the material type to post process and select RSSR input in process material. This material creates a white specular on all objects in the scene, depending on the camera position and the size of spear mask. Here we also need the material parameter collection to control the radius of the effect with the blueprint. The max radius parameter sets the length of the specular and hardness its blurriness. Also remember to switch the thin texture ID to post process input 0. Add post process volume. Select unbound in the settings to apply the effect to the entire level. Add material to post process materials. And connect the OC control for effect. This effect will be triggered, so let's add timeline to animate the size of the radius parameter. We seem to have forgot something. Exactly. Let's add camera rotation. To do this, select set actor rotation and connect the value to the X axis. Let's now add reflections. Add skylight and select HDRA map. Also add some brightness. And let's change camera position settings. To do this, move BP floor tile to the level and turn on the camera pilot. I recommend to set high values for the FOV angle parameter to create deeper effect. The rest of the settings can be adjusted to your liking. When you finish, remember to remove BP floor tile from the level and exit the camera pilot. Time to open Touch Designer and configure the tunnel control. Add constant and set all commands. Let's start by setting the camera position. But first, add your favorite audio track and add the sound analyzer from the pilot. Select low frequencies and add count. In trigger threshold, set the values depending on the values of your low frequencies. Procent 4 means that the position will be changed every 4 bits. Add another count and expression. An expression will write an expression that will generate a random value every time count change value. Add lock to smoothly change the camera position. Add two mass nodes for X, Y axis. In these nodes we set the distance in which the camera can move. And to find out the distance we add spout in and OEC out. By moving the camera we find the distance and set the range of the camera movement.
connect the math nodes, each to its own channel and see the camera starts to move. Now let's connect the movement of the camera along the tunnel. Unlike other axes, tunnel movement must be infinite. So let's do it with a speed node. But first we add lag, then select and change its settings for smoother movement. Add math and multiply the value by 50 so camera not to move so slowly. And now we add speed. And once again multiply by 150. You can change this value to control the speed of the camera. Let's now add camera rotation. To do this copy the part from camera control and in expression we change 4 to 16 so that we don't get dizzy from the rotation of the camera. In math set range from 0 to 360 and connect the rotation channel. Now let's add a material animation. To do this copy this part and add logic. Select on when value changed and add lag with a value of 0 and 0.5. Connect to white and lines channel. And all that's left is to connect the brightness control. To do this, select kick detection and select. Add lag and change the value to 0 and 0.2. Use math to invert the values. And add to the channel black. In order to start the tunnel from beginning, you must reset the speed values and reset the value in Unreal Engine. And if you're still watching this video, I have a gift for you. All the textures that I used in this tutorial, you can download for free from the link in the description. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thanks for watching!